hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. While every parent hopes for a smooth delivery, complications do sometimes arise. Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, or HIE, is a neonatal birth injury that occurs in two to nine out of every 1,000 live births. You can break the injury down into its three components. Hypoxia is a deficiency in the amount of oxygen reaching the tissues. Ischemia refers to a shortage of blood flow to the brain or another organ. And encephalopathy describes the brain damage that results from hypoxia and ischemia. Thus, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy is injury to the brain caused by a reduction in oxygen and blood flow. Lactic acid is released as cells begin to break down from the reduced circulation, which further disrupts normal cell function. The prognosis of infants with HIE will ultimately depend on the extent of the oxygen deprivation. Causes Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy can be caused by any event that compromises blood and oxygen supply to the fetus. Causes and risk factors may include placental abruption, nuchal cords and other cord complications, uterine rupture, maternal hemorrhage, trauma, fetal bradycardia, prolonged labor, and labor and delivery errors. Treatment. HIE almost always increases an infant's risk of developing cerebral palsy, intellectual disability, motor deficits, seizure disorder, developmental disabilities, speech disorders, visual and hearing impairments, and behavioral disorders. Therefore, once HIE has been diagnosed, aggressive intervention and treatment are key. As of right now, the only treatment available to reduce the extent of brain damage caused by HIE is known as hypothermia therapy or cooling. During hypothermia therapy, the baby is cooled down below homeostatic temperature, typically around 91 degrees Fahrenheit, using a cooling cap or blanket. The cooling decreases the baby's metabolic rate, which in turn stops the spread of brain damage and gives cells an opportunity to recover. Treatment typically lasts three days, and the baby is slowly warmed up after. Children with permanent disabilities from HIE typically turn to surgery, medication, therapy, and lifestyle supports to improve function and overall well-being. Learn more about hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy at the HIE Help Center.